Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. This is part two of our 3D analytics breakdown where we'll be covering the post report. If you missed part one where we go over the subscriptions report, check that out on our YouTube channel. Otherwise, after watching this video, you'll be able to understand how to use the post report to tease out content trends, understand how users are consuming and viewing your content and make optimizations from that information. So let's jump into it. The first step is gonna be go to go to your Beehive dashboard under analyze and post report. So once this loads, you'll see we have a bunch of different numbers. Similar to the subscriptions report, you'll have a couple different filters which can be used to uh, change the way that the data is displayed. So to start, let's just use before today's date to show all historic uh, posts and their interactions. And then this other filter that says subject can be used to uh, type in the specific subject line of a past post or a single word that may be used in, in multiple different posts. So from the top, we have a bunch of different cards that cover different metrics. From left to right, we have delivered, which is the number of emails delivered, the number of emails that were opened, the unique email clicks, the average number of clicks per uh, email opened, the number of users who unsubscribed, and uh, the number of spam reports. From there on the second row, we have different gauges that show qualitative performance along with the percentages of each metric. So for open rate, uh, you can see it goes from red to blue to indicate average performance and kind of where that sits on the continuum of kind of bad to good. And uh, to the left, right, we have email click rate, unsubscribe rate, and spam report rate with their related benchmarks. Next, we move down a row. We show this decreasing step-down funnel uh, showing the number of posts that were delivered, opened, and clicked alongside the number of total unique subscribers and total unique posts that have been created. As we get further down, some of the information that we have here gets a little bit more interesting. In this chart, we show email performance by date. In this case, uh, all time uh, from today's date. Each data point that you see here corresponds to a post. What we've done is we've graphed out the performance of each post along the dimensions of open rate, click-through rate, and total delivery. So purple is total delivery, blue is open rate, and green is click-through rate. This dotted line also shows the average trend. So as you can see, when you have fewer users, it's a little bit easier to get that higher click-through rate uh, because we have 72, 72 opens and click, 12 clicks. That's a 75% open rate and a 16% click rate. As you get more users compared to the latest post where there's 5,500 deliveries, um, you're gonna see, you typically do see a decrease in that click-through rate, but this can demonstrate that trend. Moving down one, we have a chart that shows total web views of your the web version of your publication charted against the number of clicks on those web publications. The dark green line is the uh, trend line of uh, the actual clicks and the dotted line is that trend. Moving down, we have the top emails. Uh, so what we'll do is if we sort uh, by date, we can see uh, kind of the chronological order, open rate, click through rate, same thing with uh, URLs over here. We can sort by a bunch of different uh, dimension. So total email clicks, you can see where our most popular URLs were. Um, you know, if we're looking specifically at web, we can see which of the most, uh, which URL was the most popular on the web, um, you know, by dimensions of total and unique clicks. Lastly, moving down here, we can see all of our posts during the time frame, uh, and we can see their performance, you know, graphed over time. So you can drop down the date here. You could drop down the subject line if you wanted to do an alphabetized version. You can drop it down by open to see the biggest volume decreasing open rate. You can see the total open rate and so forth. So these help you really gauge and assess performance over time. Uh, similarly, if you click on one of these subjects, it's gonna actually add that to this subject line up here and you're gonna see performance of this specific email um, in isolation. So you can still see the links, but they're just from this specific email. You can see the performance of the post, but it's just from this email. 
And then of course the uh, metrics up here are all just from this email now. And if I get rid of that, we go back to the master list. One last thing to note is that with each of these widgets, we have a feature that allows you to download the full results. If you click one of these three options, CSV, Excel document, or JSON, it'll export a file with all of the data, the, the raw metrics. And so you can take those metrics and plug them into your own visualization software. You could create custom uh, graphics for partners if you're you know, reporting to an advertiser. Um, you could put them in a report if you have shareholders or investors that you're reporting to as well. Um, but we make the data super portable, portable and convenient to um, export and update. So there you have it. That's the posts report uh, between posts and subscribers reports. Uh, these are going to be living reports as we collect feedback and, and uses from our users. We'll probably make uh, refinements and changes and additions. And uh, if you keep an eye on that analyze tab, uh, we hope to add more reports in the future. Uh, specifically, one that will be upcoming is a cohort report, report where you can analyze uh, cohorts of users, that is users who, for example, signed up in the same month versus later cohorts. So you could look at all of the users who signed up in May of 2022 versus all of the users who signed up in January of 2022, for example. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I, as I mentioned in the part one of this video, these features are on our scale plan. So if you're not yet on the scale plan, we encourage you to uh, upgrade and start taking advantage of these these great tools. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing what you build.